work out on an empty stomach. A lot of people think it's a bad idea, but there are actually some surprising health benefits. Fitness expert Nick Parker joins us now to break down fact versus fiction about eating and exercise. Always great to see you. Always good to be here. In. Yep. Okay, you just saw these studies on working out on an empty mm -hmm. stomach. What did they find? Yeah, it's really interesting. The study found two major benefits of working out on an empty stomach. The first one was insulin sensitivity stays higher. So, you know, we always teach eat four, five, six times a day smaller meals. Well, what happens happens is your body gets desensitized to insulin. For those of you that don't know what, what that means is insulin is what the hormone that spikes when you eat to help transport the food that you're eating into the muscle as muscle sugar and into the fat stores into the liver. So you can keep your sensitivity. The second main huge benefit is they did a study and they had a guy not eat or a whole bunch of men not eat for 24 hours and they had a 2,000 percent spike in growth hormone. Now, I'm sure you wow. know what growth hormone is. Wow, growth yeah. hormone is basically the holy grail of the fat burning hormones. It burns body fat and it also uh, helps you to build lean muscle tissue. So that's what you want to raise your metabolism long term. But they didn't eat for a long time, which wouldn't be that good. That was 24 you hours. You yeah. can't do that all the time, <laughs> oh, but yeah. it just shows. I can barely benefit. go two hours without eating. Right. And, you know, that's a great point because it might mm -hmm. not be for everybody because I can imagine, I mean, we've all worked out where you're just exhausted halfway through and you know yeah. you don't have enough fuel. That's exactly. the issue. You, you know, the one downside to this is that a lot of people can't work out on an empty stomach. I always recommend eat an hour to an hour and a half before you work out because a lot of people get dizzy, nauseous, their blood sugar drops, they feel lightheaded, mm -hmm. and their performance really suffers, so they can't work out. I'm sure you've tried working out on an empty stomach. It can be very difficult. So I'm going to give you three ways that you actually can work out on an empty stomach to take advantage of what's known as intermittent fasting. Okay, what you got? All right, so the first one is you want to do it first thing in the morning. The early bird burns the fat. If you wake up, you've already fasted for what, eight hours? At least, In yeah. your case, maybe two hours. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> How much sleep you yeah, get. Yeah, how much sleep true. you get. But the, the first thing you want to do is fast all night long. You know, eat your dinner at 7 p.m. You wake up and go work out, go exercise first thing in the morning, and then you're doing that intermittent fasting. And what happens is you get into your fat stores a lot faster that way. So you burn through what's called your glycogen stores, which is, you know, what's stored in the muscle, and then you tap into your fat stores right away. Hmm. So you burn a whole lot more fat. You burn it first quicker. Thing in the and so, yeah, exactly. And you say next up, you got to skip the pre-workout meal, right? Yeah, you can skip the pre-workout meal. Uh, do you do a pre-workout meal? No, I don't. I'm a fat. I'm a exercise faster. You are? Okay, yeah, good. I am. I, I never okay. want to eat, you know, a couple hours before. Yeah, I mix this up, and, and I recommend that you do the same thing. Normally, you want to eat an hour to an hour and a half before you work out to increase your performance, your energy to, to sustain that. But once in a while, skip that pre-workout meal, and what you'll do is you'll see the benefits of burning through your fat stores faster, and it may even change your energy level a little bit. Pay close attention to how you're feeling, though. If you're used to it, it's going to be easier. If you're not used to it, you're going to suffer a little bit, but it's worth doing once in a while. Because my pre-workout meal turns into to a nap. If I, if I eat as soon as I get home, You're I'm napping, down. I'm not working out. Yeah, exactly. uh, very quickly, one more quick low cardio sessions. What yeah, exactly. Think? It's really hard to do endurance workouts, resistance training, and hit high intensity workouts if you're fasting. So the best thing to do is, is do a short 30 minute or less workout or a low intensity workout, which would basically be like slow jogging. We call it slogging or cardio. Slogging. Yeah, slogging on an empty stomach to burn through your fat stores a lot quicker and get the benefits of the growth hormone and the insulin sensitivity. Always good stuff. Stuff. Nick, yeah. what's your website in case people want to check you out? Check us out, nickparkersbootcamp.com. Tons of information for you. All right. Thanks, sir. Appreciate right. it.